morning zen after the big storm. There's our little three-legged and her little blankets. And they go from their summer home to their winter home. And Skippy's nose is out of joint. And uh, there's Patricia's uh, favorite little one. That little patches. Little patches. Yeah, boy. He was all like, get me up. Get me up in bed. Oh, my God. Lightning. And it came down. Man. We had water coming in the back. It was thunder and lightning. And, uh, oh my God, yeah, it really came down. So we're, uh, the garden needed it, but, uh, you know, it didn't need to be uh, pressure washed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look at Noah. He's pretty much done with this morning's jaunt. And uh, they blew a lot of little leaves off. See, we got green on the one, but I think the two died and everything. But yeah, it, uh, it blew some stuff. Blew our sign crooked and on and on and on. So we got a lot to do this morning. There's the mighty Noah and his new kennel. Yeah, they're my boy. He's my boy. And uh, anyways, yeah, buddy. Anyways, that's it. It's going to be really nice. You can see. Thank you, Jane Pruitt. It's got a little dog house and everything. We're going to put it over there. And uh, that way, uh, you know, he can have a, a, a view of his domain, his dominion. He's a majestic beast. Yes. Okay. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. Uh, got some great pictures uh, from uh, Joy and Prue. And everybody's doing so wonderful in their little homes. And... Uh, you know, it's great. Anyways, uh, it showed Joy the one uh, Irish setter. She was uh, um, sitting on the man's lap. So I got to post some pictures uh, of some of the good success stories we got going on. And um, I've uh, got somebody interested in sugar. Uh, come on out this weekend, uh, 11 to, um, you know, around 11, the girls get here to show the animals. And uh, Nicole does the adoptions and... Uh, everything so yeah we're all on board with all that stuff and i want to thank uh tractor supply for the uh dentine sticks and everything uh they really enjoy those and uh anyways noah got into here and ate the pulled the cap off and started uh foraging and so we don't want him to get uh you know a blowout oh yuck fly <laughs> but anyways got a little duct tape it goes up and down but uh yeah that's what's up and uh, we all lived. It's Roxy's turn. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. A few treats for Noah. He loves them. And uh, anything plastic he loves to chew. So that's my boy. It's my girl. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Oh my God. She's ready to go. Everybody's ready to go. The big storm. Uh, it's amazing. Roxy went out. Uh, because she doesn't like to get her toes wet. But yeah, man, that's what's going on. Uh, I want to thank the one lady. Uh, her name is uh, Isabel Daniela uh, Solfre or something like that. Um, she apologized to our organization uh, for uh, uh, repeating the gossips and the rumors and everything. And, uh, I really appreciate people with that kind of courage, you know, once they find out the truth and come here and see how wonderful it is for these animals and how dedicated the crew is. It's just not one, um, one old guy. <laughs> Wonder who that could be. Um, you know, um, uh, one old guy taking care of animals, uh, you know, hoarding or flipping or all the other stupid stuff that we've been accused of taking them in and all that she apologized and uh, um, now that she knows the truth uh, we, we greatly appreciate her courage in, uh, and accept her apology 110% you know um, hopefully one day I'll be able to forgive Craig Travis and uh, you know Ben Curry and all the corruption that we uh, uh, incurred at the hands of just, uh, you know, idiots, um, you know, gotta forgive them, but yeah, this blue, that blue, oh my god, a bunch of stuff blew, uh, and, uh, thinned it out, so, anyways, the monkey paws doing really good, or the monkey grass, 
And let's say hi to Grandpa. That was the good neighbor that drove Dylan. Wonderful guy, uh, nice guy. He's got a beautiful wife and family and babies and everything. So, yeah, he's the good neighbor. But yeah, a lot of stuff came down home. Oh, sorry, Roxy, girl needs some privacy. But yeah, that came came down pretty good. I'm probably gonna pull these up. Sadly, you know, I was hoping to try to see if they'd come back. And that's what Dylan said. He does, uh, you know landscaping and yards and stuff and he said well they might come back looks like this is trying you know this is trying but uh that's that's not but look it's coming back it, it'll see how it goes you know uh, it's uh you know the will to live man look at that see how it's coming up and everything and there's green on there and coming from there we just might have to been able to save a plant uh, I don't know about the other ones, but let's see how they are doing. I know the animals are all happy that the storm's over. But I don't think uh, it might. A little green, you never know. I'll probably get some water on it, get some drip, you know, going and everything. See if we can get it back. That might be mold. But, you know, poor little cedar. God, I love them because it was like that over there. You know. Come on, Roxy. She, she didn't want to come because her feet are wet. Roxy. Roxy, Roxy, you don't want to come because of fear. I thought you'd like to bounce around and knock Dad over. Huh? Well, yeah, when it's dry, and in the spring, and then the fall. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Oh, uh, yeah, she's running for dryness. She's so cute. She just hates to get her feet wet. Oh, you're cool if I'm over here, huh? Let's see those little paws. Sit. Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you waggle your tail? Sit. Sit, sit, sit. Can you shake? Can you look pretty? Can you sit? Sit, honey. Come on, sit, shake. Okay, dance. Roll over. Sit, shake, dance. Roll over. <laughs> I taught her that. Oh no, no. Oh, it bounced around. Sit. Yeah, she, she's like, ah. I don't see a cookie. I don't see a cookie. Yeah, she she, is, she does all those tricks, but not now. <laughs> ah, the puppies made it okay, but yeah, see that that's one of those cedar trees. Huh? I think that'll do pretty good. That, that I think that one will come back. I'll pull these other ones up and put some arborvitaes there and some other stuff. And uh, we got grapes, man. We got grapes. I uh, did the diatomaceous earth. Everything else just needs to be plowed in, you know, we pretty much uh, done with the garden, except tomatoes are going on, and uh, uh, that's it, man. Uh, it was a pretty good garden this year. As always, uh, we're getting mom and everybody set. A uh, little, uh, little Marisol and Foxy in there, the one Jane brought, is uh, she's doing real good. We're going to get her all spayed on um, Wednesday coming up next week. And uh, we also have Gracie, the limping dog, uh, with a brachial plexus that had all those puppies that have been foster. Uh, it just got so confusing with Gracie and her mom, or Gracie and her puppies, uh, and then um, Mary and her puppies. And ah, uh, I never do that. I always like to keep them here because I enjoy taking care of puppies. And uh, we're doing good. The little spot on the little black dog, it's healing up good. We've been putting a Monostat 7 or Myconazole 7, uh, the generic form of the Monostat 7, which has more of the active ingredients, Myconazole or whatever, uh, um, than regular Lamotrin and stuff for ringworm that they use. You can use a you know, little uh, the Providine uh, cleaning and a one to four bleach and do all kinds of stuff as long as you don't get it around their eyes that'll help too but uh, that she's healing up good uh, it was big now it's getting smaller and everything and 
you know, uh, it's uh, there's different kinds of ringworm, and uh, they're all not good. But yeah, she's responding well uh, to that, and uh, it's looking good. So some little body, some little body needs a cookie, huh, honey? That's the smart one. That's the one that wants to be with you later. She's trying to figure out how to get over here and love up. Yep, yep, she's a little smarty one. Then we have Frosted Flakes and everybody else. But uh, yeah, the 22nd, they're getting their shots. Uh, around the 1st, we give everybody their heartworm and on and on and on. Not their heartworm, their prevention. And uh, Timber, we've been working on his little butt, pulling those. He'll bite you if you try and groom him. And uh, he just gets stressed out when you got a leash on him and this and that. He's so cute. But he'll make you bleed. <laughs> so I play. I get in there and play and uh, get it, you know. Get a little bit. Get a little bit. You know, I don't want to stress him out, you know. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Come here, Pete. Come here, Timber. Get over. Give me that nose. Give me, give me, give me, give me that nose. I got your nose. I got your nose. He just loves that kind of loving and all that stuff and play keep away, play keep away. But yeah, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. Pulled up a bunch of clumps. Uh, you know, he's just, ah, he's a mess. I could trank him up, you know, take him into docks. But, you know, I'm an owl puppy and narking on and everything and uh, all that stuff. So anyway, got some beautiful stuff going on today. A lot of cleanup and life is good thank you all thank you all for your wonderful donations uh we got a couple of new subscribers uh you know um he's trying to get the the food oh yeah this morning really early he was doing it there was a little frog frog jumping he, you know trying to figure out so i had to rescue the frog um a little toad was hopping went hopping off into toadville and uh yeah man coming here uh when i first moved here like 13 14 years ago uh i was driving through toad suck arkansas <laughs> ah yeah let's go uh, catch a couple of shows and uh you know uh, do some uh gambling in toad suck arkansas you know uh yeah i was looking around my head was on a swivel driving through there at high speeds yes sir i never heard of toad suck arkansas but i hear it's very nice after i investigated it so anyways i'm uh off to help the animals and i think timber has a project all right oh my god See, he's not really hungry because he's got food and treats constantly. You can see by all the toys. But I think he doesn't want uh, Sarge and the ant house critters to uh, get it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, oh, my God. You know, their, their mouths are so clean. <laughs> Wearing the cool blue. Off to help the animals, www.cvaag.org. Please donate today, and uh, we got a lot of uh, bedding to do, and uh, so hopefully we can get everything uh, fixed up. All the animals ready for the home, get the puppies going, everything good. Um, life is good. I'm off to help the animals. It's a long one today. I'm sorry. Uh, um, not really. I enjoy visiting and a lot of people say, hey Herb, we've missed your uh, um, uh, morning zens. And shout out to Dan. He's a big friend of mine. Big, he is. He's big. He's tall. He was uh, an enforcer for the uh, Mountaineers um, uh, um, there. Uh, West something, something college. He played basketball. He was a tall fella. He's a radio guy out west in the desert. I love the guy to death. Uh, wonderful man, him and his wife, Regina. They've been in the desert for years. We used to do um, Sunday shows with them and, you know, and all that. And the CBS Charities Challenge was always fun. Uh, they'd pair us up. He's just such a wonderful man. Um, and anyways, uh, you know, I miss him. miss a lot of my friends, my brother, my daughter, and everybody. Life is good, though here in scenic North Carolina and uh, please donate today at www.cbaag.org and uh, mm -hmm. 
somebody's busy. You know, my, my sponsor, Dan, and hey, hey he uh, said, got this cat, and he's going to get him all fixed up there. She was wild and finally got it in. And he's, um, he was having a flea crisis, so he mixed some of the diatomaceous earth in with the, um, uh, in with the kitty litter. And uh, that seems to work. He said, man, he, he's all proud and happy. He's going to get them all fixed and release them. You know, he's out down there in Denton. And, uh, but anyways, uh, he's doing the kitty deal. He's uh, taking responsibility. He got her in, and she had kittens, and, and uh, he's getting them all fixed up. So I'm really proud of him. Uh, you know, he gives me the kitty report each and every uh, uh, week, you know, how they're doing. And we've hooked him up with Dr. Chapel. Um, you know, and, and they're going to all get spayed and neutered and, you know, the whole nine yards. But uh, we love that guy to death, too. There's some really good people everywhere you go. So I'm really glad I've decided to stay and help little animals like this guy, like that guy. Now he's going to be the bird killer and bee killer. <laughs> Working in the emergency room, <laughs> people are bringing in these, their dogs, right, you know. It was sad when they got a hold of the copperheads and the, the rattlers, but, uh, you know, um, the little ones, uh, they, their bee all puffed up, and they caught the bee. <laughs> the little dog would be sitting there, face all puffed Oh, my God. It's just like, oh, baby. He'd be sitting there waggling with his face all puffed up, you know, these big lips like the, the, the girls, you know, in Hollywood. They all with their big lips. You know, all puffed out with a bunch of whatever Botox. Anyways, uh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, girls, you can save money. Just get a bunch of bees and stick your face in the hive. You'll puff right up. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm off to help the animals. Woo -woo, love for all. Please donate today at www.cvaag.org. Come on out. Uh, you can call Nicole at uh 336-207-0205 um you know she's the one that sets up the uh appointments for adoptions and everything and does the in-home checks she, they've uh, taken that over and they're doing a wonderful job her and you know aaron and chris and everybody they just do a real good job at uh, uh they come out like mostly every sunday and uh you know walk the animals and you know get in tune with them and you know, we do rounds sometimes, you know, if there's anything different going on. And uh, that said, life is good. Love for all. There goes Roxy. Woo-woo. Squirrel. Please donate today and subscribe and like. Hit that like button and share. We, we need some more people donating because apparently if we get enough people to subscribe, subscribe uh, it's hard after all the uh, throat stuff. Subscribe and like and share and comment uh, we can make money for little guys like this fella who's busy he's got a project Timber's got a pro oh are you getting the bee you got something to bit you huh did you get it did you get it yeah well, he, he, yeah I'm busy man shut up <laughs> so am I love for all woo woo